another quick video today on a feature or a feature update for the Wahoo Element range of cycling GPS's and that feature has just popped up on screen there Wahoo have released an update that allows you to set custom alerts now those custom alerts can be time, distance or calorie based now it's pretty hot out here at the moment as I'm testing these so let's jump back to the Llama Lab for a full explanation of what these can do and how these can be configured. The two things you'll need to set up these custom alerts is number one, the updated Wahoo Element Companion app on either iOS or Android. Pulling up the latest iOS release of the Wahoo Element Companion app version 1.53.0 we can see listed there the new feature is support for custom alerts on Element bike computers. Also listed there is a few other miscellaneous updates and improvements. The second thing you'll need is the latest firmware on your Element, Roam, Bolt or Bolt 2 GPS bike computer. Those are the units that support this feature update and the latest build as of this video recording is 14187. Download those updates as you normally would over Wi-Fi. Once you have both those updates installed, either automatically or manually, jump into the Element Companion app. Now you don't necessarily have to have an Element paired or selected, however I do have my Element Bolt 2 selected here and paired to the phone. Then navigate yourself down to the bottom left, Workout tab, then scroll down and you'll see Custom Alerts. I already have three configured, let's dive into those by hitting Manage Selections. So the three that I have configured, I have one called zero power meter that occurs once at 20 minutes. And here's what that looks like out on the road. The second alert that I have is based on calories. That's a repeating alert every 250 calories burned. And I have a picture of a donut probably a pretty small donut if it's only 250 calories. And the last alert I already have configured is a 50 kilometers complete alert, which you saw at the start of the video. That's occurring only once. That's a distance based alert that is not reoccurring. We can toggle any of those on and off depending on our preferences. And we can also manage these whilst we are riding. Today I did add a few test cases and enabled and disabled these on my ride. And yes, they all happen in real time. Now to add another one here, just to take you through the configuration, we can add custom alert. Let's just say 100K yay for this one. Only once, or we can do it repeating every 100K. So I don't think I'll ever trigger that more than once. So only once, interval is 100 and the type there, we've got minutes, kilometers or calories burned. So time, distance or calories. Every 100K. Oh, let's put a party emoji there too. And that adds the fourth alert there down the bottom. Now to go to manage of those, we can go and edit as we need or slide across and delete. Once you've configured your custom alerts, there are a few device specific options for how they're displayed on your element. To get to those, we hit close. We go over to the bottom right side, settings. We scroll down to custom alerts. And there we have configuration options to play sound for custom alerts, to use the LEDs for those custom alerts, and to enable them during planned workouts. These alerts will by default pop up whether you're doing a standard ride or a workout. You can disable them during a workout if required. When you have custom alerts configured, you will have a new menu option called custom alerts. So if you want to toggle those on or off or muted, that's possible from the main menu on the element. Along with being able to dismiss or mute these alerts with the buttons on the element unit, I thought it'd be kind of handy if we could do that with the Shimano D-Fly buttons, the hidden buttons on the Shimano DI2 hoods. So when paired to an element unit, the D-Fly button one relates to the left hand button here. D-Fly button two relates to the right hand button. You can also do some long presses as well for the two buttons on the side. But the issue is there's no way to hit dismiss with these hidden buttons. It would be much more convenient for DI2 users who do use the hidden D-Fly buttons to have that dismiss over on the left hand side. So when we're riding along, those alerts pop up, bang, we can hit the top of our hood and it goes away. Maybe something for the next update or a configuration option in the future. 
And finally today, a little bit more information in the form of an FAQ to tie up some odds and ends that might answer some queries that you have. Firstly, you can set as many custom alerts as you want. Next, you will need to dismiss those alerts on screen. They do not disappear automatically. All the more reason to be able to dismiss them with the DFly buttons with Shimano DI2. That would be handy. Custom alerts are set globally, so if you have multiple element units, they'll all get these custom alerts. And lastly, these are not available yet on the Element Rival GPS watch. Again, kudos to Wahoo for releasing firmware for the original Element unit, which I believe was released sometime back in 1860. Okay, so maybe not that far back. As always, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. To support the channel, hit that subscribe button. To take that support even further, hit that membership button. It's much appreciated, and we'll see you soon.